nonprofit that supports cancer patients and their families will celebrate in its newly renovated space tomorrow. Community donations helped Gilda's Club recover from more than a million dollars in flood damage this summer, and now they want you to help them celebrate. CEO of the club, Linnea Stenz, is joining us to talk about the grand reopening. Good morning and Good congrats. Morning. Thank you. This is so exciting, but I want to take a second to look back at last summer. I mean, half a million gallons of water in your basement, devastating really doesn't describe the damage, does it? Not even close. Um, seeing the, the kind of damage that we had, it was really heartbreaking for many of our members and the folks that we serve. What are some of the services you lost during that time? Sure. So. One of the things I'm really proud of is that my staff managed to get our critical support services up and running on off-site program sites Great. throughout the community within two weeks. So really support groups, cancer education, all the pieces that we do that traditionally run, we were able to keep the, the support piece running. So it's the education and the um, uh, mm -hmm. fitness activities and things sure. like that that were set aside during this time. But how important is that home base for you guys? Oh, it's critical. It really is that warm, welcoming space where our members feel at home and safe and comfortable and feel like they can actually talk about what's going on in their home and in their family when they're dealing with cancer. Clearly, this space resonated with folks because you had dozens of volunteers come out to help. Do you think that's just a testament to what you folks offer? Absolutely. One of the biggest challenges that we face is continuing to offer the programs that we've done for the last 10 years. And when the floods hit, having the whole community wrap around us and come to our aid was astounding and really humbling. We just saw some of the images of the newly renovated space. Congratulations on that. But you, even with the rain today, said you might be going out to get some sandbags to protect that new space. I'm right? certainly going to talk, uh, talk to my staff about that, and we're going to look at what we yeah. need to do to protect it. You know, we're really looking forward to getting back to the business of cancer support. And right now, we're starting to work on our upcoming events this summer. In June, we have our backyard barbecue. In July, we have a brand new event called Over the Edge, where it's um, urban and repelling and people can raise a thousand dollars and come out and repel off of the, the Hilton Monona Terrace oh, wow. and uh, <laughs> it's an opportunity that for some people is a, a once in a lifetime bucket list idea okay. so we're hoping the community will continue to wrap around us and continue to support the programs that we offer throughout the year and they can do that with the grant reopening tomorrow Absolutely. right tell us the details so tomorrow evening from 4 30 to 6 30 at Gildas Club Madison we're having uh, our grand reopening celebration where the entire community is welcome to come in um, come in enjoy music, appetizers, um, tours of the facilities, seeing the new space. And for those of our members who haven't been back since the floods in August, it's going to be a nice homecoming. Linnea, so happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. All right. Your time, your time, they appreciate you. Your time right now is just about 620. Parents, if you thought your child was in the clear from catching the flu this season, the CDC says there's a new strain making the rounds.